in this video, I'm going to be talking about some details that some people may have not seen in the trailer. So I'm just going to, you're going to be hearing my point of view, my point of things. And this is just, you know, another opinion from somebody else. So the first observation is that we have the gauntlet interceptor on the first scene. Now this is really interesting and really exciting because it means that maybe we're going to be able to purchase this vehicle and maybe purchase it a little cheaper after doing the missions. The second scene, we see Jimmy, uh, Michael's son, talking to what appears to be a player and we see a gauntlet interceptor approaching. This could be Vincent thinking maybe he's joining in to the chit chat now on the next scene Vincent is talking to four players now they have some duffel bags so I'm thinking they're ready to uh, do something this looks like it's Vespucci police station doesn't look like anywhere else could be wrong but it appears to be on the next scenes we see that we're in some sort of a warehouse. Now the warehouse has some cartel members. It, you know, when I saw the chickens and when I saw the guns, I couldn't hold myself of thinking of Pollo's Hermanos from Breaking Bad. Come on. How many of you thought about that? That's an interesting fact. Now we see Vincent talking to the players, telling them about the this new cartel going on doing things massively now Vincent is a guy that we've seen before you know he got fired from being the pop dog in the security of the casino and then he got pushed around by Thornton next thing you know he's a security guard for uh, Rockford Plaza four or five years pass and then he shows up this time he's an LSPD officer. The next scene, we are seeing some cartel members in the warehouse of the Palito Bay area. You know, where that uh, big industry or big installations or big, um, I don't know what to call it, you know, factory. The next scene, we see some the players riding some bikes. You know, they're probably coming from their little chit chat with Vincent, and they are trying to stop that clock and bell truck so they can steal it. I'm thinking that maybe you have to steal the truck in order to show up dressed all like a clocking bell employee to the factory. Now the next scene we see the player all dressed up as a clucking bell employee. I don't know if he's some sort of a uh, he's uh, in the factory or maybe he's uh, in delivery. I don't know, but he's a uh, weaseling to unplugging some cords or some cables. These could be maybe the the brakes. Now the next scene we see. Maybe they picked up something and then members from the crime came out to get them. This gentleman looks like he's up to something. And then we see Vincent there, so it's all good because Vincent is a friendly, honest guy. And they let us know that the LSPD is in constant activity with the cartel members they are you know under the payroll of this new criminal organization we see that the players are exchanging some fire with some buzzards in what it looks like to be a yacht next scene we see that vincent is telling us to sp spread spread our ways to uh, to our own destinies now he's taking off in his 
police interceptor. And he's also taking a risk, you know, I hope he doesn't get damaged in uh, these events. Now, the next explosion that appears in the trailer, we see what appears to be a rebel with a machine gun in the back or with a turret. The name for this vehicle is the Technical. Seeing the truck, you know, on the way, on the railway, waiting for the train, I can only imagine that this truck is set there by the criminal members. And the next scene, we can appreciate if we look closely that we see crossed fire. We see an exchange from the train to the technical vehicle and then from the truck to the train. It looks like we are up to something and we're probably just taking off. This probably looks like the way that we are going to be able to finish the mission by getting ourselves in the train and then taking off and I don't know maybe destroying some a few trucks or something not really sure what's going on but this is definitely some sort of a reference to breaking bad the pollos hermanos thing i mean it's it's fabulous 